mad man, one, one mad woman in Abu Lado, back AK-473. They don't kill him. In the high goal for, for all of us. This is Abu Lado life reporting. Human they pretend to be mad man, mad woman, but not even be AK-473. How about that? A mad woman was caught in Lagos with AK-47 rifles wrapped in a sack and the people around set her ablaze. Many people have started reacting in Lagos after the mad woman was caught hiding some AK-47 rifles in a sack. Immediately she was caught, angry mob set her ablaze. It was reported by some eyewitness that the woman is hiding the rifle for robbers to use, she was caught in Abu Liadu, a trade fair area of Badagri, Lagos. Some people are parading the streets everywhere as wolves in sheep clothing. So many times, many mad women and men have been caught who are involved in child kidnapping and most are ritualists. Lagos mad woman caught with eight, three AK-47 rifles burnt to death. Hmm. According to the sketchy reports by an eyewitness that made a video of the incident, the mad woman allegedly keeps the rifles for suspected armed robbers. Many people have started reacting to the incident as some believed a woman might not be guilty of the charges but it might be the armed robbers that hid the guns in her belongings. Some are trying saying mad people like that have been involved in such criminal activities and they just disguised under the pretense to be mad. Many people have started reacting and commenting on the situation. Some of the comments are uh, reactions are uh, you know baffling. Well they shouldn't have burnt her now. What if the thief intentionally put the rifles there? What if the she saw the rifles where they hid them and took them? What if she isn't really mad but truly working with the thieves so she should have she should have more information to give too many what if what if what if they shouldn't have burnt her hmm, this is not nice at all good for Lagosians really which one be good for Lagosians uh make I tell you what thing happened for Abule by Pat, uh, Patru Rankin okay what happened to him where God have mercy on us why kill her? They should have handed out to the police instead of further investigation. Or for further investigation, she must, uh, she may not be mad after all. Uh, that is pure criminal packaging. Mm. Well, a lot of things are happening now. A lot of things are happening now. Everybody should be worried. The reason why everybody should be worried is that the government itself, Buhari government, you can imagine the statements coming out from them. They don't care. All they care about is Fulani Esmen, Fulani Esmen. I'm just trying to digress. When a, 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 the so called power that be, who is a, who, who supposed to be fair in all things, with all the atrocities that Fulani Esmen are committing, the federal government is not saying anything about it. You know, the other day, the Malami came up and people were like, oh, yes. Yeah, the Buhari needs to call him to order to apologize because that statement that he made, every the whole world condemned it. Before he could say Jack Robinson, Buhari and Yabashiu, they are standing with him. They are on the same page. They are telling us that uh, the decision made by the southern governors that are illegal. Thank God. Let's see how the southern governors are going to take it. The chairman of the southern governors forum. Uh, Kredulu has told them we will meet in court when it has come to the to that extent that we cannot make laws in our own domain. But when you make laws in your own domain, nobody talks, nobody says anything. That is how we have a 12 state now practicing Sharia. See what happened in uh, Ebony State just yesterday again. A man was wandering around before you know it again, you know, he, he blew home himself. Police, police telling us a uh, cock and boot stories. The man that went to be a pal of the, they, they, they chased him away. He went, he was about to enter school. They, they, they chased him away. The next thing was what happened. So, 
what I'm trying to say is that if the government, the federal government, Buhari himself and his Kaba, they are able to bring in people all over the, or especially the Fulani Esme, they are the ones coming out, coming, coming to the country in their large numbers. Majority of those people that we are even Lagos, even this issue for Kada ride riding of a team in Lagos, the Lagos State government does not even know how to go about it. Today they will say one thing, another day they will say another thing. Strange people are in Lagos. Strange people, and they are going around, going to places where you know places that are porous. Places that are porous. In as much, you know, people do not even have a patience these days. It has always been, and this government is not even making things better. We know what we were experiencing in those uh, other administrations, but now that we thought that somebody is coming to change the narrative, not not knowing that uh, it's coming to make matter worse. To make matters worse, these are the things that are supposed to be talked about. People have been complaining about a, a, a this a, a, a agency that used to make all these announcements to educate people. You know, it just escaped my 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 mind just now. They are supposed to be on on on, on supposed to be on the rise, bringing all this jingo, telling people these are the things you are supposed to do. Don't take laws into your hands. And even as much they caught that person, at least they would have handed uh, uh, the mad woman to the police so that to be able to know whether he was really mad or she was really mad or not, so that we'll be able to get more information. Now, you know, you know when things like that happen, especially in a crowded place, you might not even know. You might be surprised that even those who are with him, those who are who are sending him, they might be in that in that uh, this scene in that crowd, and before you know, they will be taking note of those who are taking active action against that person. You know, it's, it escalates to something else. That's how it needs to be a national orientation agency. Yes, I remember now. So we bring in all this jingle, but everything just died down. We are not even talking economy. Economy is even something else. So now, officially, they have devalued Naira, and they are happy about it. And some of the governors are saying they cannot even pay 30,000 Naira. That is not even enough. It's, not, it's nothing. They are, they are they are reversing it back to eighteen thousand. Even that eighteen thousand, some states are not even paying that eighteen thousand, and things are getting expensive every day. And upon that, the government is borrowing money. They are taxing people here and there, and yet they will still tell us that uh, they are doing well. If the government, the federal government, can stand on what they are standing with all the impunity committed by this uh, Fulani Esme, they see nothing wrong with it. But when it comes to other people who are committing crimes, it is very fast for them. To go and get to go and get uh, uh, them arrested, and they will begin to announce, "Oh, see what we have done, see what we have not done." It's unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. If they can take that position, Nigeria hmm, fire on the mountain. These are the things uh, Namdi Kanu has been talking about. Melafi has been talking about. Governor uh, uh, Benuisi has been talking about. But do people listen? This man too, uh, Danjuma. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take. Thank you.